Well, here's a look right now from the NBC 23 Far Bureau. We're seeing some sunshine peeking through the clouds there. So definitely if you're heading out for lunch right now in the Upper Valley, it doesn't really seem too uh, congested. A lot of clear sailing there as uh, those uh, construction areas are becoming usually congested around the rush hour times. But of course, as far as your dog walk forecast for the afternoon hours, we're going to see those temps in the upper 80s. It is going to be quite muggy. Might want to spend later hours to uh, play with those pups there if you are uh, taking those dogs for a walk. But we will see those dew points in the upper 60s, uh, near 70 degrees there. So muggy and humid conditions expected. Winds a bit on the calm side as we head into the next uh, several hours or so. But however, the Storm Prediction Center is uh, giving portions of Star County <clears throat> under a risk for a severe weather. That is a one out of five with the main threats, including large hail, damaging winds and heavy rain. Of course, drought conditions improving with all the recent rains that we have received. As we go into looking at that future clouds and radar, we will see those isolated showers moving on in later between 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hours, as well as the conditions becoming a bit quiet for tomorrow morning. And just keep in mind that we could see an isolated flare up or two two as we head closer towards the midnight hours, mainly for our western areas, every areas for west of McAllen, Rio Grande City, Star County, likely to see more of those showers and meaning rather quiet for the lower valley. So we still have that Texas dry line moving in across the area. That condition is going to remain mostly just calm and clear, at least for the next few days. But uh, we will see those every day to have that chance for isolated showers as we head see those highs in the 80s and 90s, lows in the 70s and 80s. But we will see those conditions remain mostly just muggy and hot. There's really not going to be any significant cool down as we head into the next seven days. Highs in the 90s through the rest of the work week. Lows in the 70s with a 20% chance of isolated showers and storms. But uh, definitely expecting those conditions to remain rather just a uh, hot and muggy at least through the next uh, few days there as uh, we approach closer towards a uh, hurricane season. So of course, uh, as we look at that, I said earlier in the newscast, we have 24 days away into hurricane season. Of course, the tropics start becoming a bit active as we head into the month of June. That does begin on June 1st.